how long ago did you get out and how long did you serve? I got out last year, January thirteenth, two thousand twenty three. Okay. And I did almost nine, bro. I did eight years and seven months, bro. Damn. She was Damn. nuts, bro. So <laughs> where did you uh where did you serve at? Were you in Oklahoma? Yep, Oklahoma. Where at state everywhere. I went to like oh, okay. I went to three, four different yards. I got you. I got you. Are you able to go into like any of the details about like what happened, like what you were charged with, why you went? I was charged with a uh, shooting with intent, discharge out of motor vehicle, just some shooting shit, bro. Yeah. Shooting cases. Bro was out there. Young, like I said, bro, it was lost a little bit though, know, huh? For yeah. sure, bro. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Nigga had to go through it though, bro. Yeah, yeah. What was it like for you, like going through that and then like hearing, you know what I'm saying, that sentence being delivered? Like, bro, that shit like unreal. Yeah. Even now, bro, I ain't gonna lie, my life seemed like a big ass dream, bro. This yeah. shit is just crazy. Hey, you bro. got a movie type life, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, that shit just was like unfathomable, bro. Yeah. Like, I got sentenced to more time than what I did. I ended yeah. up getting a time cut halfway through my sentence. Well, a little more than halfway through my sentence. So, nigga, just to hear it, like, I got 15 years. That's what 15? I got sentenced to. So yeah, okay. I'm like, what the fuck? And you can't fathom that as no 17, 18 year old. Okay, but say, how old was no, you? 17, 18. So fuck. you can't fathom that as no 17. Hell no, nah, bro. You, like, even when you get the time, you still can't fathom. No, nigga, that's bro. all you done lived. Yeah. You know? Yes, So, bro. it wasn't even fathomable, bro. And even when I was doing it, bro, it was just like, nigga. Fuck. It was like an outer body experience, yeah. bro. But yeah. it was, I needed it, bro. It was yeah. cra- that was my college, bro. Some niggas yeah. get to grow up and get to go to college and get a scholarship or whatever the case may be. That was my college for me, yeah. bro. And as crazy as it may sound, bro, that shit done put me ahead of a lot of niggas who done went to actual colleges and institutions, bro. Type like, shit. I learned a lot having to be in there and go through certain shit in there, bro. Like, you go through isolation, bro. That's mental yeah. warfare you go through in oh, that yeah. motherfucker, bro. Oh, yeah. So it's just, it break you down and it builds you up and make you a totally different person, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, bro, that shit was crazy, bro. But, nigga, I can only it, imagine, bro. It made too fat, bro. We here with it now, yeah. bro. It sharpened the nigga for sure. Yeah, because like I was saying earlier, bro, like, all I did, I went to juvie, bro. Like, in my entire life, I spent a total of seven days in jail, bro. So, like, I know, bro, I could not imagine, bro, being, like, 15 years, like, that boom, hitting nuts, the gavel, bro. like, bro. Yeah, I'm glad, thank I'd God, have. I didn't have to serve that all yeah. that time, bro. Yeah. I got a time cut in um, 2019. Okay. And that shit, chopped my shit down to a 10. I ended up doing eight years, seven on a 10. But, yeah, bro, that shit was nuts, bro. But it was yeah. an experience I, I'll never forget. But I will forget, bro. Like, nigga, we passed that now. We, yeah. We on to some crazy shit. Yeah. Was What's that up? your first time going to jail before th- no, I went to juvenile before juvenile that. Juvenile a couple yes, times. So. Yeah, on me. And see, my thing, bro, like, juvie for me, like, at the at that time in my life, I was living with my mom and stuff, like, so I was just trying to survive too, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, really in that survival mode where, like, that's that's what I seen. My mom was, like, she's been pretty much a drug addict her entire life, you know what I mean? So, like, she was surviving, you know what I'm saying? And, like, that's what we were doing together. Yeah, I was 16, just trying to survive, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? End up getting in a little bit of trouble, but, like, at like when I went to Juvie, the bad thing was like we was eating kind of good, bro. Like they was giving us good ass food in there bro, and shit. Juvie, that was like daycare. I went yeah, to bro. I did that shit over a year and a half, bro. That shit was like nigga, just a it really big was, bro. Daycare, it was like bro. big head daycare, it's bro. Just, it, it don't get you ready. You don't even prepare your mind to re- make you realize like this shit real out here. Yeah, You're and like, it, damn, I can do that shit and come and do this shit and just do this, like, and that's almost what. It, but the thing that really got me was just how bored I was, bro. Like, yeah, and like God. I just. I thought about, like, every day it would just be like, damn, bro, like, I wonder what my homie Elijah doing. I wonder what Blake doing. I wonder, And I just got, like, that's what really deterred me was bro, just how bored I was. That was me for years. And, bro. yeah, yeah, exactly, bro. It's bro. A Friday night, nigga, 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, damn, niggas at the booty club. <laughs> at the booty club. <laughs> One, niggas nigga. at the booty club, cuz I'm scrolling on Facebook. Oh, shit. Looking for Damn, green, bro. See who green dot on so I can shoot my shot. What's up, man? Hey, you probably in there passing the black shit. Oh, the set. For real. Hey, but bro. Yeah, that shit nobody real. can talk to a woman like a nigga in jail, what? bro. Hey, nigga, I still talk to these booty <laughs> like I'm a good nigga. It's the fucking whore monger. I promise you. The real life whore bro, monger. Hey, you ain't got nothing but time in there to just think about how you can finesse a girl, Listen, bro. bro. Not you, even necessarily finesse, but just bro, keep her company. You know what I'm saying? To like, these bitches in jail. A nigga in jail is on the phone. Like, listen, baby, the, your essence is just a bitch. Like, girl, this nigga just said my essence, bro. I got my girl took from one time. This girl I used to talk. <laughs> bro, I got her took from a nigga in prison, bro. I ain't gonna cap, bro. I was talking to this girl. I was really feeling shouty too, bro. We was talking for a little minute, bro. The next thing you know, she. 
she hit me with like, or no, actually she didn't even say nothing. I just seen on Facebook she was in a relationship with a nigga from from jail from prison, bro. And oh, I'm she like, posted that she was in. Her, oh yeah, she, yeah, it was like in a relationship, that and I like, I'm like, bro, what the? Hey. Hell? I'm like, God damn. Hey, bro. If you notice, the only niggas who post <laughs> their relationship status is niggas in jail. Okay. Free niggas ain't no here no. in a relationship with Ashley no. Jones. I, I, <laughs> That's only jailed niggas. He got a, bro, on a gray so soft, sweater. <laughs> so he got God on a gray damn. sweater and a selfie. I'm like, nigga, I'm like, bitch, I'm free. Like, what the fuck? Damn, bro. That is fucking funny, bro. I hate to hear that, nigga, but free nah, him. Hey, for real, though. Hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, free him. I ain't tripping about it. She, we, she wasn't that special, obviously, but. <laughs> Damn, bro. I still ain't never gonna forget that, though, bro. <laughs> Fuck, bro. <laughs>